That's all for today's lecture. But I'm going to go back and recommend an old exam problem from spring 2018 as a good example of a review problem that you should look at around this time in the course. I picked problem 4B from spring 2018 midterm 2, which is a six point problem. Implement combo, which takes two non-negative integers a and b, it returns the smallest integer that contains all of the digits of a in order, as well as all of the digits of b in order. Two integers in, one comes out. I'm not gonna walk through how to solve this problem. I'm just going to point out some things that are good to notice before you start solving this problem. First, what kind of problem is this? What kind of solution technique might apply? Well, if you have two integers and you think about building an integer that has all the digits of both of them, there are many ways to do that. For example, with this 5 through 1 and 4 3 2, I could start with a 4 or I could start with a 5. Both would be reasonable. So I could do 4, 5, 3, 1, 2, or 4, 5, 3, 2, 1, or 4, 3, 2, 5, 3, 1. There's many different ways. When you're choosing among many different options and you're trying to count them all or find the best one or print them all out, that's a tree recursion problem. Here we have a series of choices which digit to put next in the result. And there are many different ways to choose among those. So tree recursion means looking for base cases, looking for recursive cases, and figuring out how to combine the results of multiple recursive calls. And there are other cues, like here's a recursive call. Okay, okay, but uh, without even glancing at the starter code, you should try to figure out what kind of problem this is. And second, you can start looking for base cases. And in this problem, one of the base cases is provided to you. Remember, a base case is an input where you can immediately return the answer. So if you're trying to build an integer with all the digits of 0 and all the digits of 3 to 1, apparently the answer is 3 to 1. What happened to the 0? Oh, there's an explanation. The number 0 has no digits, so 0 is not in the result. So that's a useful doc test because it tells you what to do with zero and also a useful doc test because it seems like I could compute this result from these inputs really easily. It's a base case. I'll let you take it from there. If you want to learn more about how to solve this problem, you could go to the resources page of the course website and find the walkthrough video that describes how to approach and solve the problem. Good luck.